Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do the Miss, mm, mm, you know, Cruella de Vil with like a twist because she's more glam, but you know, she's still villainous. Got her, her fake fur going on. Oh, she's so glamorous, you know. So going in with Elmer's glue stick, you just want to go ahead and cover your eyebrows. Um, this step, you actually want to go ahead and do multiple like layers just so that way if you have thicker brows like I do, you can cover them um, fully. And then you want to go ahead and use a translucent powder and go over the top of the Elmer's glue stick. And then taking a fluffy brush, you just want to go ahead and fluff away the excess powder, like that. It's super simple, super easy. Just keep layering over until you get the look you are going for. And then I use the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in the shade Light Peach. You just want to go ahead and go over your eyelids and your non-existent brows and use a wet beauty blender to go ahead and cover that up and blend it out nicely. You can do this step a couple more times if you need to just to get it to the desired color you're going for. And then we're going to go ahead and go into the Morphe Live in Color palette and you're going to use the lime green shade at the bottom and then you're just going to go ahead and spread that all over the eyelid but make sure not to go too high. You're just going to go where your brows would have been. And then you're going to go into that darker green shade and then you're just going to blend over the top of that lime green that you placed down just to give it a contrast. And then going into the lime green metallic color, you just want to put that on your lid. And then we're going to use the Ruby May Cosmetics Glitter Palette. And this has a coconut oil base to it, so you can either use your finger, which is a lot easier, or you can go in with the brush, whatever you prefer. But just be uh, mindful that you pay attention not to get it too close to your eyes because it does hurt when you get it in your eyes. And then going in with the NYX black eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, you're just going to go ahead and draw a full circle and a winged eyeliner around your eye. And this will create the cartoony look effect on Cruella de Vil. And using the same liquid eyeliner, you're just going to want to go ahead and create eyebrows. I do notice that mine are not the same once I'm done doing this look, but I still liked how they came out and they made her look villainous. So I went with it and I own that uneven eyebrow. Now that we have both eyes done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the same concealer and then the, I think it's um, 
Hard Candy Foundation. You're just going to go ahead and put that because that's the other lightest shade that I had. Just go ahead and blend that out. And then we are going to set the face with the translucent powder. And then we're going to move on to contouring. Or rather not contouring, we're going to go ahead and do the under eye with the same green. And you just want to make that look smoky. And then this is what we're contouring. So I use the Color Wheel by um, Rimmel London. It's not something they carry anymore, but you can use whatever contour color you like. Just make sure that it is dramatic because Corella's cheekbones are very like high and pointy. So you just want to make it as dramatic as you possibly can, but keeping it still glamorous. And then just define your line. And then you know I can't not use a highlighter. So I'm going in with the Smoke and Mirrors Pearlescent Highlighter and just highlighting my cheekbones. And then using the Rimmel London Red Lip Liner, we're just going to go ahead and overdraw our lips because why not? She has very pointy lips, so um, I just wanted to be dramatic with the lips. So that's what I did. And then you just want to go ahead and go in with a red lip I just went in with the wet n wild fire engine red and then I just followed what I had already laid down with the lip pencil and that concludes all the products for this tutorial well this concludes the end of this tutorial um, I figured I'd do um, kind of like a glam look on Cruella de Vil. I don't know. It is definitely villainous, I guess, in a sense. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in my next one. Or not.